In this video, we're going to try to solve this problem. This problem here, we're given a right circular conical tank, this tank here, and it says in here that this loses water out of a circular hole of area AH at its bottom, meaning the water is leaving through this hole. Now, we're given the radius of the top surface of the tank, which is 8 feet, and we also have our height of the right circular conical tank which is 20 feet here this is our height now since the tank is water leaking through this hole of area ah at the bottom of the tank and for this reason also the friction and contraction of the stream the rate of the volume leaving the tank is cah squared of 2gh where your c is the empirical constant and the area of the circular hole is ah with radius of six inches now our goal is to determine the differential equation for the height of the water h at time t is greater than zero or simply the dh over dt or the rate at which the height is changing as the volume is changing now to begin let's make an equation of our volume in terms of h but now we have a volume here v is equal to one third pi r squared times h but our volume here is in terms of r and h that's why we're gonna find a way to express this purely in terms of h now by ratio and proportion we have r here by ratio of propor and proportion we have r over h is equal to 8 over 20. Now, we can express R in terms of H. We have R is equal to 2 fifth H. And let's substitute this to our original equation. Volume is equal to 1 third pi times 2 fifth H squared times H. Now, squaring 2 fifth H, we have 4 over 25 since 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, and H squared is H squared. Now, multiplying 1 times 4, 4. 3 times 25 is 75, h squared times h is h cubed, and we have our equation for our volume in terms of purely h. v is equal to 4 over 75 pi h cubed. Now, let's differentiate this in terms of t to find our volume flow rate, dv over dt is equal to constant 4 pi over 75 times the derivative of h cubed is 3h squared times dh over dt. Now we have here, we can cancel this and we'll change this to 25. And we can find the equation for our dh over dt in terms of dv over dt by just multiplying 25 over 25 over 4 pi h squared to both sides of the equation 4 pi h squared and we're left with the h over dt is equal to 25 over 4 pi h squared dv over dt this is now our equation one now let's find our equation two so that we're going to substitute our equation 2 to our equation 1 to find dh over dt in terms of h. Now, our dv over dt is from here, the volume flow rate of the water leaving the tank, cah squared of 2gh. But take note here that we have a negative sign here since the water is leaking through and out of the tank. If it happens the water is entering the tank, for some problem for some problem we have water entering the tank then we won't be having negative here instead we're having a positive sign but since the water is leaking out of the tank we have negative here that's why we have dv over dt is equal to negative c a h squared of 2 g h now let's find since rc is given our empirical constant 0 0.6 here and let's find r a h our AH is the area of the circular hole here, which has 6 inches as its radius. Now, area of circle is pi r squared. That's why we have 
6 inches squared here and let's express this in terms of feet because we're going to use feet as our unit 6 over 12 feet or 1 half feet our 6 inches is just equal to 1 half feet and 1 half square is just 1 fourth that's why we have the area of the circular hole here AH is equal to pi over 4 feet squared and our G also is given and let's substitute the values of C, A, H, and G to our dV over dt, our volume flow rate. Now we have negative 0.6, our C, pi over 4, our A, H, and our G is 32. That's why we have 2 times 32. We have 64 here. And square root of 64 is just 8 here. And 8 over 4 is 2. That's why we have negative 3 times 2 is just negative 6 over 5 pi squared of h. This is our equation 2, our dv over dt. And let's substitute, substitute this to rdh over dt, our first equation. This is our first equation. And... This is our second equation. Let's substitute this to our first equation. dv over dt here. And we have dh over dt is equal to 25 over 4 pi h squared times negative 6 pi over 5 squared of h. We can cancel this. 25 over 5 is just 5. Negative 6 over 4 is just negative 3 halves. That's why. And cancel out the pi because pi over pi is just 1. And we're left with 5 over 2 h squared times negative 3 squared of h. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 2 h squared in the our denominator times squared of h is equal to negative 15 over 2 h to the 2 minus 1 half. 2 minus 1 half is just 3 halves. That's why we have our dh over dt is equal to negative 15 over 2 h to the 3 halves. This, this is our rate of change for our height. Or the rate of change our height is changing as our volume is changing because of the water leaving out of the tank. And we can prove here that our answer is correct. And I think that's all.